A moment. It's, it could tell you who the main figures are that we've been focusing on in Cairo all day. Top of the list, of course, is the former president, Hosni Mubarak. He is charged with corruption and with ordering police to shoot protesters. If he's convicted, he could face the death penalty. Also in the court today, his sons, Gamal and Allah. They're also both facing charges. They've been detained in Cairo since April. The charges against them are only corruption. Also on trial, we have Habib al-Adli. He's the former interior minister and the head of the security services. Six of his senior officers are on trial alongside him. Now, al-Adli is already serving a 12-year sentence. He was convicted of money laundering and profiteering. But now he's also facing additional charges of ordering the troops to fire at the protesters. That is the charge that carries the death penalty, and he is also facing that one. Now also on trial, Hussein Salam, a business tycoon, a close associate of Mubarak. He's going to be tried in absentia because he is in Spain. He was arrested there in June, and the extradition proceedings are underway. The charges against him are also of corruption.